In this and the next lecture, you will learn how to pass a predicate to a function or a method as well as how to use the predicate joins. Create a new class. Call it predicate joins. Put it in a package called com.bharat.java8predicate.joins main method finish. Delete the to do. Declare an array. Define an array of integers. We are going to use this array and apply two predicates to it. One in this lecture and another one in the next lecture. Start with 0, 10, 20, 30. Go all the way up to 50, 60, 70. And also add some odd numbers like 7 and 73. Save it. You're going to define two predicates. The first predicate in this lecture is to check all the numbers which are greater than 10. Predicate, control space, import the predicate from java.util.function of type integer p1 is equal to i arrow mark i is greater than 10. If a given number is greater than 10, it will return true. If not, it returns false. Sys out greater than 10 colon. We are not going to loop through this array here. Instead, we are going to write a method that can be reused. Static method so that we need not create an object to invoke it. Method 1. And the parameters to this method are predicate of integers integer p comma int array we are going to pass in the entire array save it it should be void static void method 1 and inside the method we will loop through the array int each value in the array colon the array name which is x use the for each loop Within the body, you will apply the predicate if p dot test on each value of the array, then sys out each value. You are going to display only those values of the array which pass the predicate. That is, if the predicate returns true for that value, you will display that value. In this case, the predicate will be true only if the given number is greater than 10. Invoke the method, method 1, pass in predicate p1, comma, the array x. Save it, run it. And it will display only those numbers which are greater than 10. In the next lecture, you will define another predicate and you will join the two predicates.